These scriptures tell us that the day of Christ versus the day of the Lord are quite different. So let's look at now the day of the Lord. Now there are many scriptures that we can speak of the day of the Lord. And there is quite a few. Now if you want to go into them for further study, you can look at Zephaniah chapter 1 verses 14 to 18. We can go also into Matthew 24 verse 21 and 22. So we're going to look at Matthew 24. It says in verse 21 of Matthew 24, For then there will be great tribulation, such as, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until the time, no, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Who are the elect? The elect are the Israelite people. Meaning, he is saying those that are elect, those that, that even maybe just a few, whoever stands with Israel at that time, will be part of the elect. But for Israel's sake, he says, I must come so that even Israel is not destroyed. My people, my elect, hallelujah. He is not talking about the church. The church has already been snatched away. The church, the Gentile church has been snatched away is safe in what? In heaven, hallelujah. Let us continue. So the day of the Lord is that time of judgment in which God would judge Israel for her unbelief and also the other nations. In Jeremiah 37, it says, Alas, for that day a great, and there is none alike it, and it is the time of Jacob's distress, but he will be saved from it. See, when we look at Romans 11, from verse 25 to 33, we see that Paul says, Hey, I am an Israelite. He declares he is an Israelite. And the fact is that salvation is for the Jews. But God will fulfill that promise. He will give them the opportunity of salvation because Jesus Christ is the light of the world. But just like with every man, they have a choice to either receive the light or to reject it. So it's the same with every person. They will also be given that opportunity for salvation right to the very end. And those that receive the light... What do they do? They reject the darkness because when light comes into, darkness comes into the light, it exposes the darkness. Therefore, it exposes it so we can repent of our sins and come to Jesus Christ in salvation. And the Jews will receive Christ as their Messiah. Those that receive. But there will be those that will reject the light because they don't want their darkness to come into the light. So it's the same with all mankind. But that is his awesome promise for the Jewish people. The day of the Lord will end with the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. As it says in Matthew 24, verse 30. It says to us, Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and with great glory. Hallelujah. That will be an awesome day. One word will be spoken. Maybe it will be peace, shalom. Everything will stop. Because the Creator, when the Creator speaks, the creation must respond. Hallelujah. I'm excited about that day. And it says that the saints will come back with Him. Those that have been taken up into the clouds will come back with Him. Hallelujah. Revelation 19, 11, verses to 19. This also shows us.
Now I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse. And he who sat on him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had the name written that no one except himself could understand. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on the white horses. Now out of the, his mouth goes a sharp sword, and out of it he would strike the nations, and he himself would rule them with a rod of iron, and he himself treads the winepress of fierceness and wrath of God Almighty. And he has on his robe and on his thigh name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. We will come back with him on the clouds. Hallelujah. 